What up guys, it's your girl Rob Rob Butterfly. I'm here today to do your daily message. This video is going to be for Aquarius. Okay, 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 okay. If the video does resonate with you guys, please be sure to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button to my page, child. Help me build up my platform, help this video reach everybody that needs to see it. Okay, okay, okay. If you want a personal reading or just need any of my general information, please be sure to use the description box down below. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I was about to say Capricorn, sorry. <laughs> Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into this, okay? Because first and foremost, I'm getting that for a lot of you guys, the war is over, okay? A lot of you guys have been going through challenging, challenging times, okay? Uh, and still could be. But here's the message, guys, okay? The war is over because, Aquarius, you have decided to retreat. You are no longer going to participate, okay? Um, and though it may feel like you're losing at this time, you're really not, okay? Some of you guys think that, you know, you're stuck or you're bound to a situation that you can't be freed from. But honestly, you know, you're winning, Okay, this is honestly you falling back, you stepping away is willingly is the best thing you could ever do because it's not only going to heal you, but it's going to change everything. The way that you see things, the way that you feel things, it's changing everything on the inside of you. Okay, you're going to be able to start expressing yourself. You're going to understand that oh, it's okay, that you don't have to, you know, indulge into things that are bad for you, okay? It's going to start a whole new chapter in your life, Aquarius. Why? Because you're going to heal, okay? So for a lot of my Aquarius, you're not, you know, indulging in anything stressful, dramatic, okay? Anything that you have to overwork, anything that you have to pick up burdens for anybody else, okay? Aquarius, you have really realized that this cycle or this debt that you feel that you owe to people or things is over with, okay? And you're really starting to love yourself, but as much as that you do love yourself, it hurts to, to let go of certain things that in certain people, okay? Some of you, my Aquarius, you you went through, someone passed away in your life and it was suddenly you weren't expecting this. Some of you guys, this was a lover, okay? Some of my Aquarius, somebody might have committed suicide. You weren't expecting it at all. Some of my Aquarius, someone could have died in a car accident, okay? Some of my Aquarius, someone just died, you know, in their sleep. Some of my Aquarius, you were waiting for this person to die. You knew that it was going to happen, but you just weren't expecting it right now. Some of my Aquarius feel free now that this person has passed away. Some of my Aquarius are really down because you guys were planning to get married. Like I said, uh, you were engaged to someone and they passed. And it's really hard for you to deal with Aquarius. Some of you guys feel like you're at fault for the death. And you're really stressed out about it. You can't even think about yourself at this moment. You can't think about anything else. All you're seeing is this darkness around you. Okay? Some of you guys really do feel at fault for someone passing away. But you need to stop thinking that that's not the way that uh, God wants you to see it. Your spirit guides want you to see it. Aquarius, this happened. This had to happen. This was a part of the, um, it's kind of like it's, it, it was a part of the course, okay? Everything that has happened. This was actually something that was supposed to push you to move forward in your life. For you to understand that you know who's who's for you who's with you that you can believe in yourself believe in god this is going to help free you okay if you just stop thinking that it's your fault it's not your fault whatever happened is not your fault 
Okay, some of you guys may have spoke some bad words to someone that passed away, someone in your family, someone that you love, and you didn't get a chance to apologize to this person. They knew that you loved them. They, they understood everything that you were saying, and they weren't mad. They weren't sad, okay? They don't want you to be sad. They want you to forgive yourself, and they want you to let go and move on and do what's best for you and for your life, for your career, and be independent, okay? A lot of you guys, you rely on friends a lot. You rely on relationships a lot. And you know that they're not good for you. But yet, you still deal with them. Some of you guys aren't, are, are relying on... Some of you guys, for some of you guys, some of the friends that you have, they're encouraging you to get back into the gym. And they're encouraging you, you know, to chase your dreams and things like that. And you're trying to, you know, disconnect from these people because you feel so sad right now. Aquarius. Okay? Aqua. Some of my Aquarius, if it's not an actual death, it could be like a prison. Some of you guys have been going, uh, you know that you're going to jail. Okay. And this is very hard for you to accept. Some of you guys, um, you know, you're just moving on from relationships and it's very hard for you to accept. Some of you guys are realizing that people aren't for you and you, you have to move on. You have to let them go and it's been very hard for you to accept. Some of you guys feel like that even in your career. You know this job no longer is for you, but you stay. Okay? Aquarius, if you don't break through all of this energy, I feel like that is just going to really break you down even more and you're going to get into a dark space, okay? Okay? Some of you guys will be receiving an inheritance and that's going to help you guys be able to transition and move on from a lot of this shit, okay? But like I said in the beginning, um, you guys are definitely going, if you've already received this inheritance, you're going to definitely be cutting ties with a lot of things and though it may hurt you, you know that this is the best thing for you to do, Aquarius, okay? And just because you're retreating doesn't mean that you've lost. You may have lost a battle with a few people, but you didn't lose the war. You won the war. Okay, it's up for you to start seeing that. Okay, it's up for you to start understanding that you don't have to continue down this, this, this fighting road with people. Okay, anything that's for you, you won't have to fight for. It's going to be there for you, right? Aquarius, I feel like you understand that now. And some of you guys, this has a lot to do, this could have something to do with where you work at. And you definitely want to go somewhere else for your job, okay? Because you realize that you're putting way too much time, effort, and resources into something that you're not getting back. You're very aware of that. You're very aware of how much you've just been putting up. And how much farther you could be if you would have invested this time into yourself instead of to people or this company or to whatever else. And, and you know, you could have had more by now. You may have stayed around because it was, you know, okay. But at the end of the day, now you are very clear that you know that it's, it, it's, it hasn't been equal. And from here on out, that's what you're only willing to take. And if that's not what you're doing, Aquarius, that's what you're going to be doing. And as soon as you do that, and I feel like you haven't yet, but as soon as you take on that mindset, then you're going to very much be able to enjoy either your inheritance or uh, this new luxurious life that's coming in to you, okay? Some of you guys may have received an inheritance and you don't want to spend and do this. You're trying to still live humbly. And it's like, no, go out there and do the things that you want to do. Don't worry about what other people have to say. Go spend that. That is for you to enjoy go spend your money say goodbye to the things and places that you have to and it's okay to enjoy it okay some of you guys may have lost somebody and you feel bad about spending the inheritance but no that's what they wanted for you okay because somebody knows some, the people looking down this higher um this this the, your ancestors whatever this guy the spiritual source that's going around you understands that this is what's going to bring you balance into your life Aquarius. okay some of you guys really need to take a trip because it's going to spark so many ideas and so many changes in your life. Everything that you're going through, you're going to realize, okay, that was for a purpose. And then you're going to start spreading out your ideas and channeling your energy and your time into those things that make something. 
Okay, some of you guys are going to take your inheritance and you're going to make it something that's very, 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 um, I don't know, like you're going to, you're going to create something that's very demanding. It's going to make you a lot of money, but this is going to take you letting go of a lot of things, a lot of insecurities. It's going to take major changes for you to do this. Okay. Because a lot of you guys are stuck right now. You're stuck in your own, you know, mental prison. You're, you know, you're stuck in your own ways right now, Aquarius. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Gemini. So if it's not your energy, this is a Gemini that you're dealing with. And that's why you're separating yourself from this person, because you know that if you separate, they'll be able to go out there and, and, and get hungry and chase what they need to. If not, Aquarius, this is for you. OK. You need to travel. Someone needs to travel. Someone needs to explore so that they can change their perception. Someone needs to let go so that they can let new love come in so they can let new things, new ideas, new energy, new skin come in. OK. Some of you guys may hear something on the radio and you're like, ooh, I'm going to do it. Some of you guys may hear an ad for a retreat or some type of convention and you're going to go ahead and do it. But you may be considering, should I spend my money on that? Yes, you should. Because this is going to help release you from all this, this, this toxic energy, all these lies, all this shit that you're holding on to, that you're bubbling in. And this is going to help you be able to make a decision and see what's real and what's not. Do not let fear stop you, Aquarius. What are you waiting for? Happiness is right here around the corner for you. It's waiting for you. Okay? There is going to be sunshine at the end of the rainbow, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I don't know, but it's up to you to go look at the end of the freaking rainbow. It's go on a trip. Get outside. Adventure waits. Peace comes within. Follow your heart's desires. You've done enough, friend. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be independent. Some of you guys are dealing with the cancer. Okay? Maybe you want to travel with the cancer. Maybe this child, maybe this cancer is going to be the person that offers you a trip. Okay. Maybe you and this cancer haven't talked. Y'all haven't had sex in a while. Maybe you feel like, oh, my body not ready for a trip. Girl, boy, whoever. Fuck that. Do what your heart telling you to do. Believe in yourself and make the, take a leap of faith and get out there. Okay. Because something is waiting for you. Something is so waiting for you. You don't see it right now. But you will be. Mark my word, Aqua. You will be. That's my reading for you guys today, Aquarius. If this message resonated with you guys, please be sure to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button. Okay, okay, okay. And y'all enjoy y'all day, Aquarius. Everything is okay. Okay? You need to believe that. You need to see that. You know what to do if you want a personal reading. Description box. <laughs>